Hey everybody, we're back again. Hello. We did this three times in a row. Are you proud? Yeah. Well, today we're talking about everybody's least favorite thing in the world, or at least ours. Definitely one of my least favorite things. Talking about celebrities. <laughs> Name the most normal celebrity you got. You brought up Carl Pilkington earlier, which isn't like a big name, and probably sure nobody a, knows I'm who not that sure is. That's a celebrity. We but do like him. But he's like he's like well known, and he's just a dude, right? Ideally, that should be what most of them are like, where it's just like they're a guy, and also. They've been on TV. Chris Evans seems okay. You're going for like actual full Hollywood yeah. level celebrity, not yeah. like- Yeah, no, that's who we're I, chatting about today. Right, that makes sense. Cause most of the people I think of, when I think of like normal celebrity are like they, if you back up enough, they started like online or something. Are any yeah. of the Avengers, do, they, do any of them feel like normal? They can't Chris be. Evans, Chris Evans feels like a normal dude. Does he? Doesn't he? Based on what though? Like, do we know that or do his, we just feel like that's true? His Twitter seems rad, but if someone was like, Chris Evans yeah. runs over cats, I'd be like, well. Huh? <laughs> the only way, reason we like, we enjoy any individual celebrity is because we haven't heard some horrible thing they've done yet. Right. Uh, unlike the ones on today's show where we have seen them do horrible things. Let's see what we got. <laughs> Imagine there's no heaven. It's easy if you try. No hell below us. I'm sure you all remember this. This was uh, the video that came out at the beginning of the COVID right, pandemic, right, right, right. where the celebrities wanted to show us that they were all in the same boat as us. Yeah. <laughs> but that, uh, but that there was still hope in the world, and we Kyle were just being I, too depressing to see it. Chilling in our <laughs> unfurnished 1,300 square foot townhome. <laughs> Ellen in her third gym <laughs> on her 67th like home bicycle. I like that you brought up Ellen because I don't think she's in this video, but this feels like a very her. Oh, this thing was to definitely do. her idea. Let's keep listening to this absolute jam though. Above us on the sky. Even that guy regretted it. You see his face? <laughs> and just at the end of that note. You see that? We just gotta watch that again. Above us on the sky. Yeah, he did. <laughs> He didn't want to do this. Yeah, Someone, no. there's a, the, off screen, there's a man with a gun <laughs> pointing it at this man, telling him he had to do that or his career was over. Or this was being recorded live. He's like on a Discord call or something. And then at the end of it, he was like, oh, well, that's done, I <laughs> Why'd guess. Why'd they keep that in? That happened. This is a face full of regrets. I don't even know who this is. <laughs> I have no idea who this is. Imagine all the people. Okay, wait a minute. We oh, gotta give a your boy. We gotta give a pass to James Marston. Do we though? Yeah, because you know he you meant like him. it. Yeah, well, you know. I know he. I know you all know of them meant, meant it. it. No. That's the problem. No, they all mean it. Yeah, but it's cute when he does it. It's like quirky, like like a puppy who thinks that <laughs> this he can is a smile. bias. No, 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 no. <laughs> James Marsden's got like nothing going on up here. See, even if you hate celebrities, everybody has one. Everybody's got one no. person where this is okay. I won't, I won't I allow too. you to do this to me. Maybe we'll find it by the end of the episode. No, I don't know. James Marsden has got, he genuine, celebrity or not, I think he thinks he could sing you a song and solve your problems. <laughs> All of these other people were either calculated or held at gunpoint. <laughs> James Marsden really thought he was gonna change your life. I genuinely, like, okay, I'll give you whatever you want on James Marsden, but I genuinely don't think the rest of them are, are going like in their head to, ooh, I'm gonna get some good publicity off of this as much as they are genuinely thinking, no, because that's, pat that's, I would give them a pass for that. I would honestly, I think that's more forgivable oh if gosh. they're making a business move than the reality that these people are so out of touch that, they really that they're going, we're all in this together no, from they, their giant mansion. Living for today. It isn't hard to do. Nothing to kill or die for. And no religion too. Imagine all the people. I can't decide if I hate it more when they're completely uninvested or 1,000% <laughs> invested. I'm gonna, I'm gonna soften up actually my, my judgment on this a little bit, mm. or actually I think I'm just gonna take some of it and redirect it uh, because I, I think some of these people probably got contacted and they were like, hey, I'm putting this thing together and like, all right. And they filmed the thing and they just didn't even think about like, yeah, I'm any pretty repercussions. Sure. Wasn't this Gal Gadot's project? I don't remember, is it her? Cause I'm what I was sure about her. to say is who I actually hate is the person who edited all these together. Sia out here curing autism with her voice. I've never, I've never seen Sia outside of the wig. She did it just I for you. Someday I hope <laughs> you'll join us. 
Come and on. the world will be as one. Who did this? Who put this together? Yep, oh, uh, Gal Gadot assembled celebrity singing John Lennon's anthem. Well, we all know why it's bad. Like, we don't even have to go into detail explaining yeah, no. like, why this was just terrible. We all collectively hated it. Like, literally, literally top of middle class all the way down to just like lowest well, class pro every... No one needed that or wanted it or liked it. You know who I'm surprised wasn't in there? My least favorite celebrity of all time, John Mayer. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Will not actually. elaborate. <laughs> you either know or you don't. All right, Kanye, give us three things that are hairy. Balls, balls, balls. <laughs> Kanye coming in with that 10 year old humor, really just <laughs> laying it on thick. Will it work? <laughs> oh my God, the best part about that was how upset Ellen was. Did you see her face? No, no I didn't. Bruh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> right. Look at that, she's pissed. So, so do you and Kanye like fart in front of each other or do you talk about farts? <laughs> like do you fart in front of him? I don't fart, what are you talking about? You don't fart. <laughs> Jennifer Lawrence trying to be as like normal as possible because you know she eats pizza. Right. And then Kim Kardashian can't give her anything. That was amazing, actually. That was it was just both like... celebrities doing the thing that makes them the most annoying each. Yeah, Jennifer Lawrence needs you to know she's cool because she farts <laughs> and she eats, dude. Fuck just me. like you. So how much would you pay for Justin Bieber's underpants? Probably cap it at like five hundred dollars. Right. <laughs> that's a that's like, hell of a lot of money. Yeah, yeah. But I want to know specifically when he wore them. Well, I want to know what he did. I want it to be like the pair of underpants he recorded. Love yourself. Yeah. Wearing. Or the pair of underpants he like played hockey. And yeah. Really gets it's up a sweat. to me, and he could have just thrown them out and never wore them. I feel like there's a very easy chance that this comes across as just being really negative about a lot of people, a lot of things for no reason. It's kind of my MO. That being said, carpool karaoke is like one of the worst things anybody has ever, ever put to film. <laughs> I did not know that that's where you were going. People love that I show. I don't understand why that's like popular or likable. They were quippy. It's so weird. No, they're not quippy. They were quippy. It's so cringy. How much would you spend it's just so Bieber's underwear? bad. They have these weird scripted lines. And look, we have a format for this that like works fine. Interviews, just talk to each other. But this weird fake, hey, we're buddies. It's a it's so I don't like James Corden either. <laughs> because really because he, he puts on such this fake like buddy buddy vibe with everybody. For sure. But like you can tell the people in the car like aren't into it sometimes. And it's the worst thing. Like I he, just no, you know what? We were watching different things. I saw we? a relatable conversation between two bros chilling in a car, talking about how much they would spend on Justin Bieber's underwear, just like you and I do. <laughs> just like we do when we're chilling. I call up Matt. And you and whose you underwear about would you buy today? <laughs> celebrities underpants. No, no, no. The no. ones that you both know mutually. No, no, they are celebrities. So it's right, like exactly. I, I would be like, hey, how much would you pay for Ricky's underpants? And he's like, <laughs> twenty bucks. And I'm like, that's reasonable. Maybe this would be better if we were in a car. Now we're in a car. No. Kyle did some I know what you're effects. asking me to do, but that's not happening. There's no green screen you or nothing. See the special I'm not effects? cutting this out. We're in a car, bruh. On der Mauer. Have a gross Mauer. Mein Hand gebaut. I see she hates. Beat the Mauer Bauer. Nine. Aber du. Ein Sau. Okay, I think he's doing Simmish. I thought I was having a stroke. Is he being racist? <gasps> that was good to somebody? I don't know who. No, I can't tell no, what he's it's imitating. Got, I think it's Sims. I think it's Sims. Rimpy fervor perbidex. Wara ufa munaret. Do you think Chris Pratt is referencing The Sims? Otherwise it's racist, so yeah, I'm hoping so. <laughs> Hello, how are you? You like my English accent? <laughs> it's very nice. Very well. Thank you. Cheerio. <laughs> I like, I like British accents because they're so sexy. Okay, so I do draw the line on myself and my own judgment when it comes to children, actually. Oh, for sure. This is actually the one part where I'm like, I, I this this mostly ends. Yeah. And I was not on board with like the Justin Bieber hate when he was a child. I'm here to hit, I'm here to hate on celebrities, but not children. Justin Bieber probably did coke at 14. <laughs> But my sympathy comes back in full force for Again, that. Again, you know, I'll die on this hill too. The only reason people didn't like Justin Bieber is because women liked him. It's because a bunch of girls came around, started liking him, and then people were like, man, hate when girls like things. I gotta ruin that. <laughs> gotta ruin it as soon as possible. I don't know if you've ever dyed your hair blonde and too blonde, 
Sometimes your hair falls out when you go too blonde. Thanks. You want to know all of it? Yes. Okay, I'll tell, tell you me, all of it. Tell me everything. It's all so fabulous. Tell me what's fabulous. Just everything. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> what, but, tell me about Go Girls. Just check it out online. <laughs> no, I want to know now. Yeah. <laughs> and so I have to get married. Answer again. Yeah. I do. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah. I <laughs> How long was the actual interview? God, I think an Ellen episode. If that was... <laughs> but, like, look, there's a lot of reasons to dislike celebrities, but being just miserably unfunny is not necessarily one of them. That felt like we were on drugs, too. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I can't say yeah. which drugs, maybe just, like, too many Advils or something. All right, and you smell cavities. I know that because I saw the show. That's a I even give someone a hug, I can automatically tell if they have a cavity. And I, it's like a struggle in my mind if I should tell them. Sorry, Kim Kardashian is a superpower that allows <laughs> her to tell if someone has a cavity. Yo, this what? is being wasted. This might be bullshit. Attention is about who? My, my heart's racing right now. My, um... Just... I, uh, this is this is where you... This is where you realize that I'm not gonna say it and I'm, like, freaking out right yeah. now. I think somebody who thinks it might be written about them, they, 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 they're, they're sadly mistaken, it's not written about them. It's actually, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Why am I sweating right now? Yeah. So you know- Charlie Puth might be normal. They, he might be. He's because on TikTok. that was a completely normal reaction. All of the clips on the Ellen show are for some reason highlighting the other person instead of Ellen. Right. <laughs> because, uh, she's definitely more of the problem in most of these interviews yeah. than the person she's interviewing. Do you fart in front of Kanye? Would you? Yes, gladly. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know that? <laughs> Ask him! Okay, uh... Finger sound, Josh is talking about. I don't know finger sound is what. Just well, he knows what a finger style is. <laughs> but we don't! Never mind. Okay. <laughs> I would rather get waterboarded than watch that whole thing again. I feel like we have so much fun together all the time, right? Yeah. We have so many laughs and... Uh, I mean, I can just start laughing right now thinking of some of the laughs. <laughs> I just thought of one, but I, we have so much fun. <laughs> you see the blink, Taylor was like. <laughs> <laughs> so like, even if you're doing a bit, you're supposed to play off the other person. The bit is obviously to humiliate the other person. Right, exactly. That's, that's like it's her like, gig. Yeah, that, 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 is, that is her, her whole thing is to come out on top of the improv, not to actually like play out the improv with somebody else. That's fun. Watch me just <laughs> brutalize these people. Right, yeah. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna finish off on the queen of all out of touchness, <laughs> everyone's favorite out of touch icon, truly the best. Gwyneth Paltrow addresses her haters. The lifestyle guru spoke to BBC News' Stephen Sacker at Cannes Lion, where he asked her about topping a 2013 tabloid survey of the most hated celebrities. Her reaction, quote, I was like, I'm the most hated celebrity? More than like Chris Brown? What did I do? <laughs> okay. <laughs> In her defense, <laughs> I agree with her on that one. <laughs> she brought up the correct other example. She yeah. was gonna say anyone else, it would have failed. <laughs> but yeah. she was like, I just sell snake oil. <laughs> right. I just like let people get cancer and tell them that like water will right. cure it. I mean, that's Chris bad. Chris Brown but nearly like... beat someone <laughs> right. to death. All I can do is be my authentic self. If you know me, then you know who I am and that I have fun and eat and I am so appreciative for my life. But I think there are things about me that people draw conclusions. Wait, wait, wait. Top, wait, top wait. list of things Gwyneth Paltrow does not do. Number one, eat. eat. <laughs> also, like, Gwyneth Paltrow, what do you have to say about topping the list of one of the most hated celebrities in the world? I eat and I have fun. <laughs> That's who I am as a person. Paltrow says one of those misconceptions is that she was born with a silver spoon, but she's quick to remind us that her dad, the late Bruce Paltrow, was supportive of her acting career, but never gave her a handout. Also, she does indulge, quote, I have never had a horrible experience with French fries. French fries are my life. On the thing about her dad, she said that her dad never gave her a handout. Yeah. Not that he couldn't. Not that he was a, a cobbler or something. Sure. Clearly her dad is 
Uh, that's a lie, is what I'm saying. Is yeah, there, it's probably a lie. There, there's no way that's true. This woman embodies, like embodies, the pizza is my personality. It really sells like a like a food replacement right. shake. Like Gwyneth Paltrow just found out that she topped the list of hated celebrities more than the man who nearly beat a woman to death. And she's like, <laughs> just like to eat and have fun. Genuinely had my fill of celebrities. Like I never want to see just one again. in life. No, just like tonight. Just tonight. Yeah. I mean, but yeah, but like also, also I'm done. Like on a on a big scale, I'm done as well. I think everybody at some point in their life goes through at least a phase of thinking fa being famous would be great. I think Bojack Horseman probably puts it best, actually, which is like at, at, at the level you become famous, you just stop. Yeah. And I think these are all like really great examples of that, where it's like you just you stop aging, you stop learning, you stop being told no, and then and I then you stop realizing that you're cringy as hell. I think we just need to break the facade around the idea that celebrities are like cool. No, no, no. See, they're right. talented and they got that talent yeah. with money. Let me ask you something. Now that we've seen all the celebrities, which celebrity would you want to meet? Right, the answer is and will always be Danny DeVito. And I think we should agree on that <laughs> and call it a night. I think answering this question based on like who's actually a good person and who you want to meet doesn't make sense anymore. So I would just want to meet, I would want to meet a celebrity who's just like wild, I think. Totally just to off see the walls. it like in person. Kanye. Like Jeff Goldblum, Kanye. Oh, yeah. Like people like that who are just like, who it's just going to be an experience interacting with them because they're not human. Yeah. Right? You're never going to be friends. Like if you meet a celebrity who's actually down to earth, they're not gonna be want to be friends with you either, probably. Like they got their own lives going on. It's not like you're gonna like hit it off and go get beers. I hope I've convinced every single one of you that celebrities are not worth your time. <laughs> if you want to invest in someone, great, pick us. On that note, uh, buymeacoffee.com, linked in the description, you can donate to the channel. You can donate us money and we can buy one coffee. We can buy one coffee. We can buy that's one true. coffee with the money you give us. Keeps unless us you give us a dollar and then that's not a whole coffee. But eventually I think there's a Five chance. Five dollar minimum, don't go we will, that. <laughs> that's like that. That's like the cheapest you can that, get for coffee. There might actually be a $5 minimum on the website though. I'm not sure. Oh. I don't know if that's how it works or not. <laughs> anyway, we promise to never be celebrities. I do in fact promise to never be celebrities. I oh will, yeah. If I, get, if I get too famous, I will run away. Thanks for supporting us. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>